And I keep think I just the the part that I can't stop thinking about is the the her face was like she was like uh, I don't even want to uh oh What's up, Jones Bones? It is your girl, Unitedly Random, and turn, taking off those glasses so we don't have a glare. Today, we are going to be doing a video reaction. Now, this video came up on my Twitter feed. I've been on Twitter a little bit more lately. Um, this is after I deleted the original one. <laughs> I deleted the original one. Um, and this post came up and in, in this post it was like this guy was like I saw my grandma doing something that you wouldn't want to see your grandma doing now I wish I could show you the comments under that video I thought it was a gag I thought it was a gag this video has been up for about a month when I saw the post it was like oh this has been up for about three weeks it's been up for a month. It has half a million views on it. Like, it's not a gag. And so I thought that on my channel, we've been doing a lot of heavy topics. A lot of, <laughs> you know, dealing with, you know, the growth of life. But today, let's do something silly. Let's do a video reaction to someone else's suffering, okay? Like, you guys are tired of my suffering by now, right? Yeah, yeah, I agree. No more suffering for me. Let's get into it. I'll move it to the side so you guys can see. Okay. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Um. Let me just say first, there's nothing wrong with the with the with the doing that. I understand that it's perfectly natural. It's just that I was having a really bad week, and a terrible day today. And I was not in. I wasn't in. I get. I just wasn't in the. Uh, I wasn't in a good mental headspace to. Oh, this is serious. To process that, seeing that, um, and. Oh, this is serious, serious. I just hope that now, every time that I think about my grandmother, or I see my grandmother, or I talk to my grandmother, that I'm not gonna think about it every single time because I love my grandmother so much <laughs> and I don't want to lose my grandmother I don't want to oh, think about her the comments. doing that every time I talk to her Um, so I... Maybe this is a sketch. Maybe this isn't serious. She lives in Pasadena. And she had a computer question. Go figure. Right? Um, and... Maybe this is a sketch. I'm in denial. So I came over and Are we really laughing at his pain? The car was in the car. Oh no. Oh no. This is making me anxious. Okay, okay, okay. So, well, we know what's going to be happening. I just went over to the computer still. and I started seeing I could figure out what was you know, the problem. This had no and tags. Three minutes went on. And then I just heard it was sort of like a. Oh. And Ew. a few months ago, my grandmother tripped in the shower, but she broke her hip. Oh, so you had to and run. 
You had to run. You were like, I'll save you, Grandma. Ow. Oh, no. This is so serious. So I got really scared because I thought maybe my grandmother was in trouble. And so I ran up and I said, Grandma, are you okay? And I didn't hear anything. This is a joke! So I opened the door to her bedroom. This is a joke! Okay, no, this is a joke. This is like... This is a joke. Okay, okay, I kissed my girlfriend's dad. How a grenade ruined my friend's wedding. I ate my grandmother. My ex thinks I'm her dad. I got arrested on my birthday. I have nude art of my sister. This is a joke. <gasps> my first kidnapping, how it went. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. The method acting, baby. You had me. <laughs> you had me. I can laugh at you now. I can laugh at you. Okay, the comments, like, I guess, like, if this was serious, someone really wouldn't post it, but I posted some weird things. And I have to give it a little bit of the benefit of the doubt because I went viral for things that I didn't necessarily expect to go viral for. Like, my Bros, Bros, Bros video, which, you know, it kind of makes sense that I would go viral for that. But still, I didn't plan on going viral for that. But this, this, this is a joke. This is a joke. Poor guy. Someone actually saw their grandma. <laughs> Moment of silence. You know, a moment of silence. Someone saw their grandma. Oh my goodness. What if this is serious and then he made all of the jokes around it to make it like, oh yeah, it's just a joke. Let me go see. I'm gonna go to his channel right now. Again, I'm gonna go to his channel again. Let's see. Okay, so we go to, I think he's just a comedian. I really do think he's just a comedian. So before the grandma, I said a slur at brunch. My date will regret canceling. Oh, no, he's just a joke. I suck at mugging people. Oh, it's just a joke. He's just a joke. It's just a joke. Let's go back and read the comments. Okay, the comments for this video. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> top comment. Let me sort it by tops because <laughs> I'm a bottom. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's the month of pride. Anyway, I've seen people describe murder with less trauma in their eyes. This is the type of video to get recommended to 14 million people eight years later. Grandma's homemade cookies won't taste the same anymore after this. I'm sorry, but when he mimicked his grandmother's moans, I lost it. Bro invented new stages of the grieving process. Denial, acceptance, grieving, bargaining, forgiving, integration, flashback, remorse, intense CPD, SD. What is child post-traumatic stress disorder? But it's not child post-traumatic stress disorder because it happened in his adulthood. I just want to make that known because I know a little bit about C <laughs> CP. T-S-D, okay, on my channel. If you want to hang around a little bit more, you can learn a lot about my C-P-D-D-D-S-D, -D -D okay, uh, and my uh, diagnosed ADHD and possible undiagnosed autism, baby. Let's go! Six months later. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a process. Like, I, I, I don't know if I'm gullible, but I just, at first, I was like, you know, this could be true. This could be true. Did you guys, like, let me know. Let me know. Let me put on my, let me put on my glasses. Did you guys know that this was going to be fake? 
Was it just me who thought that this was this might be true? Did you, who who's with me? Who thought this could be true? Cause I thought it was gonna be true. You know, I saw a post the other day, and this is where I go on a tangent. So if you just wanted to see the video, yeah, we we passed the video. I saw a post the other day where it was like, wow, um, neurotypicals, which neurotypicals are usually people who don't have like ADHD, autism, you know, neurotypicals. Okay, uh, neurotypicals would be like, wow, you're so colorful. I can't believe you believe what I said. And it's just like. As a, a as a, a neurodivergent, am I just supposed to assume that everything people say to me are lies? You know? So that was the post. The girl was like, I mean, I'm sorry I don't just go around and assume that people are constantly lying to me. But I think it would make sense because I'm very honest and people not even just putting neurotypical people out there, but just in general, if you just assume that I should assume that everyone is lying, that means either you're always lying or, no, you are always lying. So if you say that I should feel some type of way, that means that you feel that type of way. Like, uh, for example, my hypothetical uh, ex-in-law said that I was a gold digger. I mean, the reality is maybe she was a gold digger, hypothetically, because she doesn't really exist. If you want to hear more about my hypothetical in-law, Lori, make sure to check out my channel, Am I the A-Hole? What would Lori say, okay? I'm going to try something new on the channel, okay? On another note, this reminds me of the time where I was taking care of my grandmother. Uh, I don't know if I really talked to you guys about this before, but there was a summer in between um, high school and college where I would help take care of my grandma and I was living in the same house with her. Now, my grandma, there was this, it's not like too crazy, but there was this weird situation where my grandma didn't like for me to sleep in the other bed. She wanted me to sleep in the bed with her. And she had a valid reason. If you sleep in the other bed, we have to make up the other bed. Like, that's the reason. But there was one night where I was in the bed with her and she tried to like cuddle up to me and then she was like, oh, like give grandma some sugar but it wasn't like oh baby come give grandma some sugar it was like grandma is cuddling up next to you give grandma some sugar i don't know if she was half asleep but it really like it really as someone who has dealt with trauma as a child it really stood out where it was like this is not this is not normal like right right you want me to sleep in the bed with you and you you know you was like give grandma some sugar and then like pretty soon after she had a stroke so it was just like okay well you know he was like yeah but I told my mom and my mom was like oh when you go over there don't sleep in the bed with her anymore but like I'm lucky that this was one of those instances where I spoke about something that happened and like it was taken seriously and I wasn't like oh that's your grandma just ignore it no it was like mm okay that was weird so I don't know if I explained to you the weirdness of it grandma wouldn't let me sleep in a bed alone wanted me to sleep in the bed with her while I was in the bed with her she wanted to start to hold on me and ask me to uh, kiss on her again it's been years since I've seen that grandma we're not gonna drag her down below but I'm just letting you know that I've been in something similar not grandma pleasuring pleasuring herself but just in something similar and also like just growing up I don't think I've ever been in a situation with with that per se like not with my mom or not with my uh grandma but i did hear a lot of things from my mom about my grandma that let me know that my gr grandma was still popping popping meow meow at her tender age okay she was she was she was getting it on marvin gay style okay um and then pass out my mom like I, there was nothing that really let me know that my mom was um, smexually active except when she like gave me her bag of toys to get rid of and it was it was like huge <laughs> I mean <laughs> if that's what you like anyway much love and positive vibes make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already on my channel we talk a lot about mental health we talk about my healing journey and we're trying to become viral on the internet Again, 
for the right reasons this time, okay? If you don't know, I had a TikTok channel that had around 70,000 followers, and I am growing this channel right now, trying to get to 7K by the end of this year. Again, we talk about everything under the sun because this is unitedly random and i like to be united and random with my people uh if you have any topic that you want me to talk about please let me know down below and i will try to add that into my repertoire and until next time um don't trust the people on the internet <laughs> like me don't trust it well you can trust me i'm very trustworthy but don't trust the people on the internet he didn't see his grandmother he's just an actor and you are seeing me i'm not an actor i'm the real deal see you next time